Hi friends, uh, welcome back to my channel and I think so this is the final video we are gonna put about Vodafone idea limited because after this ATR due supreme court case on the 17th of March 2020 I think so Vodafone idea limited will have the new name Vodafone idea 2.0 but we already gave a name for it when this uh, good thing was happened in this page this ATR due uh, light amount but you should note all the points which has been trailing in the market this many days because Vodafone idea limited is not a piece of a company but it's a piece of telecom ministry telecom history okay because one or two telecom parties already only three parties are major okay uh, if one party goes from this i think so a major impact can be seen in indian economy because already we are in recession now at this time of recession uh, any one thing is going to collapse then automatically all things is going to collapse in a single stage payment okay now basically friends before going this in this uh 21 crore 500 amount of this age i do think stuffs or supreme court hearing whichever things you should know but you should appreciate board of one idea for paying 7000 crore of the principal amount within this due date because when they are going to meet the supreme court today and they're gonna ask about any relief the supreme court will simply ask one question what you have it and if they ask means then they can simply reply that instead I mean total of the HR amounts which is containing interest and principal we have clearly paid 6854 crores of the principal amount to you within this due date on the 17th of 2020 so please grant us any relief on this interest penalty or payment okay if the question comes to people's mind okay what if the Supreme Court do not give any relief. What will happen if Supreme Court does not give any relief, any grant to Vodafone Idea Limited? Will Vodafone Idea shed their stop if ask me friends? Definitely not. Why? Because I will answer. So basically friends, uh, Vodafone Idea Limited has said they have 21,500 crores as the year dues that should be paid by them. Out of which they have already paid 7,000 crore to be precise. So only 14,000 crores are pending. In which 14,000 crores, 4,500 crores is coming from Indus Tower deal. So 10,000 crore. In this 10,000 crore, they need to pay around 8,000 crores of GST adjustment. So remaining 2,000 crore. So the remaining 2,000 crore, they can simply pay off within a period of 5 to 6 years easily. But a main point is known now. The question is that whether the Supreme Court is going to, are going to accept the self-assessment of Vodafone Idea Limited as well as Bharati Idea Limited. It depends upon the Department of Telecoms and so, okay. If Department of Telecom is accepting this, I think so. Vodafone Idea will definitely come out of this. Okay, so if this also fails, then what will happen if I fails? Because we have all the questions. But I think I will provide the maximum answers we can do. Okay, if all things failed, all hopes failed, there's only one thing remaining because the government will intervene. Okay, in our India, there are so many banks. Okay, if one bank collapses, all banks are coming, and a new law is formulated for all the things like S Bank Limited, S No Friends, then why can't government come and help a telecom industry? So because Within a year or so, what of we go, and also within a year or so, bar that will go. Then for only Geo, then why is the need for a monopoly company when there is need a telecom ministry, telecom persons? So basically, friends, government will definitely come and help Vodafone Idea Limited as well as uh, this company. So what are the various helps that can be do? If you ask me, friends, okay. I have a simple thought the government may do like this, but I am not sure that it may happen or not. Okay. For example, if 21,000 crores is to be the amount paid by Vodafone Limited, uh, which they have already paid 7,000 crores. So the 14,000 crores may be paid by government itself fully, and government may ask Vodafone Idea to pay in return to them within a short span of time or within a long period years with an interest payment. So this may be one of the possible cases, like giving an advance to the party and paying the whole amount and paying the interest to the government so, so this can be the one of the thing our government may intervene with the help of support of DOT and they may form any cabinet new things or any new access so that they could help this Vodafone Limited but that's a secondary thought but I think these are the two possible ways that Vodafone idea and Bharati Atel can do but friends whatever it takes it is even hands now the day we waited for and the moment we waited for the 
thing we waited for is going to come today Vodafone idea Supreme Court judgment I request all my friends to be positive and also all the things to be positive because I think so if you be positiveness I think there's something that's hiding in positiveness because if you be positive all the things will turn out to be positive and the good things will definitely come with this happy face uh, this is from always over Indian shares in evening after the Supreme Court hearing we'll definitely post a video about this also and uh, see in the video very soon friends.